Welcome back to my channel everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you some really cool tools that I use to create my pinup styles. Um, for those of you who don't know, my hair is very thin and fragile so I actually don't use heat at all on it. Um, I let it air dry and then I use like simple science basically to style my hair like they did back in the day when they didn't have hot tools readily available for them. So a product that I always use is the Rock and Rollers the roller set every night before I go to bed. It gives me a good curl set in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping and it uses no heat. So the rock and rollers are quite simple. They're little snakes that are leopard print and you roll your hair up in them and then you snap them like this and then you link them all around your head. I'm going to be showing you how to do that now. They come up a little book and inside the little book it shows you how to do it depending on what style you want. So if you want a lovely S-Wave, it shows you how to do that, or if you want to like do some precursor to victory rolls, and finger waves, anything like that, it's going to tell you how to do that and where to put the curlers in and what placement they should be in. So I take a little brush, give this all a lovely comb through. I use the rock and rollers every night, and this is how my hair turns out. And a lot of people ask me how I got my hair to grow so fast, even though I bleach it and dye it all the time, it's because I don't use any heat on it. About two years ago, I cut it up to here, and now I've got all of this. And when you bleach it about every six weeks to put pink on it, that's typically not very common to grow it out so fast like I did. This is my rat tail comb here, and basically, I look at my sections, I clean them up a little bit. There we go. And because I have really thin hair, the more rock and rollers I put in, the curlier and poodlier it turns out. So I typically only use about two or three. But for the more hair you have, you're going to want to use more. So I'm just going to section off this piece here, this crown piece, comb it through once. And it's really simple. You take it and wrap it around the middle, loop it around a couple times, and then roll it down. And then once it feels nice and snug, you snap it. And voila, you have your first rock and roller in. Second section here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to link them together so it holds the roller in place and it doesn't distort your curl. Sometimes in the middle of the night they'll fall down depending on where you sleep so it's good to link them together because it holds them in place. And these pieces down here, I'll usually let them kind of link around the bottom of the head and that way the curls are down a little further. So now I have my rock and rollers in and what I typically will do is I'll take some hairspray. I'll give it a good spray. And then also what I'll do is before I go to bed, I throw a little bit of dry shampoo in. I'll throw that into the roots so I don't get greasy throughout the night. And then I go to sleep. Some cool things about the rock and rollers is that they're washable, so I just throw them in the machine to wash them. I throw them in the dryer after so they get poofy again because eventually the more you wear them, the skinnier they're going to get because they are, you know, woven around hair. So if you throw them in the dryer, it just poofs them back up so they give you that voluptuous curl again. They're also really good for bumper bangs. You can just roll them into the bang piece you have and then snap them and bobby pin them in. Um, they're really good for that. Any sort of filler that you need for your hair, they're kind of in lieu of rats. If you used to use rats or you know what rats are used for, you can use these for those as well. Also, you can use them as a sock bun if you just kind of roll it around and trip onto the crown of your head. They're handy for that too. I'll wake up like this and then I'll start unwinding them. So I unsnap them and roll them down. And they usually come up into a lovely curl like this.
So this is typically how it'll look like after. So it's basically done. And depending on what I want to do, I'll either brush them out or I'll start curling them with my fingers, start doing pin curls or victorials, whatever I want to do. Kinda, with that dry shampoo, it kind of acts as a volumizer, so it'll kind of poof up this area. And then I can go in and sculpt it if I want to, but then already I've got that lovely S-curve. And that's just from the rock and rollers on them by themselves. That's why they're such an amazing product, because they basically do all the work without any heat. So they're not damaging your hair at all. So definitely a product that I love and enjoy, and I definitely think you will too. Especially if you're looking for find, to find those vintage curls. And then I can fuss with that as much as I want. It's really simple. Um, basically, this gives the foundation of the curl in your hair for whatever you'd like to do. Uh, it's a really simple science to it. It just kind of holds the curl overnight, and as you sleep in it, it compacts the curl. Also, what you can do if you don't want to sleep in rollers, because um, you're at a friend's house and then you don't want to look silly, even though I think rollers look super cute in everybody, um, you can put the rollers in and blow dry your hair for a couple minutes and then let them cool, and then it'll also leave the curl in in lieu of using um, hot rollers. It's a little more gentle, however, you might not get the lasting effect because they need to be in for a substantial amount of time in order for them to be effective. In conclusion, if you want to use no heat but you still want those vintage waves, uh, the rock and rollers are probably one of your best bets. They're amazing little products and uh, the science goes a long way for any sort of vintage curl you would need. And uh, a little bit of hairspray and a little bit of backcombing with these guys is match made heaven. So some other really cool tools that I like to use to style my hair in the vintage way without using heat are pin curl, pin, pin curl wheel. This is the Roll Go and it's a pretty amazing product and it's actually extremely simple. It looks like a torture device. It comes with a book and the book is a styling guide as well. It's gonna tell you what, what styles you can achieve with this and how to do them. It creates any victory roll and it creates any sort of texture you'd like just by using this to kind of comb through. So first off, to show you firsthand, I'm going to section off this part before my ear here and I'm going to give it a little bit of a tease and then what I'm going to do, because this side here has less hair than this side because my part's on the far side here, I'm going to take the smallest side of the roller and what I'm going to do is I'm putting the ends of my hair into the pricks and I'm going to roll it like so and then all you do is once you're happy with it get it nice and tight against the scalp there you can pull it out and you have your curl next thing you're gonna bobby pin it and also it controls your tension within the victory curl so you're not messing around with it too much I'm gonna take my bang piece here, I'm just gonna separate, and I'm gonna work with this side here, this big chunk of hair. So I'm taking this middle section here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna comb through it with my rat tail comb. I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of teasing in the back. I'm gonna take the tinier section of the roll go, and I'm gonna angle it so the top part is wider than the bottom part. There we go, so now it's nice and tight. I just kinda of grasp the hair, pull out the roll, take a bobby pin, and I'm going to pin that roll right into place. On the roll go, there's the large cylinder and the smaller cylinders. The large cylinder here is for any sort of big thing, so if you're going to be doing a French twist, you'll be using the large cylinder depending on how much hair you have, and the smaller twist is for any sort of victory rolls or pin curls or anything that you need, uh, or anything that's smaller, you can use this for that. So if you're into smaller pin curls, there is a version of the roll curl that's a lot smaller and it's just called the Sculpture Pin Curl Tool. Again, this tool comes with a little book that tells you how to use it and how to achieve certain looks like finger waves and things and what directions to curl the hair in in order to achieve that effect. So it's quite small, it's like this big here, and very similar, it's got a large cylinder and a smaller cylinder. So the larger cylinder is for larger pin curls, smaller ones for smaller pin curls. For anyone who's trying to do pin curls, you can find that they're extremely frustrating because you have to get the tension and the curl right. So with the pin curl tool, you just kind of use the ends of the hair and you can roll it around and then just roll it up against the scalp, like so. And then, again, slide it 
and pin it into place. Or pin curls can be in lieu of rollers if you don't have any rollers. A lot of times pin curls, I'll just kind of loop them around my finger, pin them into place. However, that kind of, you never really are sure about how you're going to wake up and how the curls are going to set. If you don't set them properly, they'll get all wonky and weird and you won't get that beautiful S curve that the vintage styles have. So with using something that's a little more measured, like the pin curl tool, you can really get a determined pin curl and a proper one so all your curls line up. So there we go, two pin curls there. Now I could do my whole head in this or I could just leave it like that and kind of add some barrettes to it and things. Pin curls are timeless. Um, on Pin curls are timeless, so you can use them and incorporate them in many different styles. That, but um, setting the curl is the most important part because if you set, if you use it as a curl set, um, your curls have to be proper and they have to be all curled a certain way, or else you're going to get a really strange um, curl rhythm. It's not going to be good. Another thing too is that if you have your hair all pre-done and curled, but you just want to add some texture to it, you can use the roll go to kind of go in and fix texture. So I can go in here and just kind of curl it around and create a little more of a scoop into my curl here. I can add some volume and just really fuss around with it and create lovely texture. And I can push up the curl a little bit with it. And just kind of back home add. And you have to look at what direction the curl is going. So I can tell if this one's scooping under here and then coming down and scooping under again. So I can go in and scoop against that and then just kind of curl it up a bit just to really sculpture that out. And just adds a little more definition to it. There's a lot of products out there that claim that they protect against heat and I'm sure they do for, to a certain extent. However, for myself, I found that my hair was actually able to grow until I gave up heat entirely. Finding tools that required me not to use heat, that's where I found that my hair really started to grow and flourish. And if you actually look, my hair actually comes all the way down past the bust line. It's just because it's so fine and it gets curled that it starts to really bunch up. Definitely check these products out, guys. Um, between the Roll Go over here, the Pin Curl Sculpture Tool, and my Rock and Roller, I'm set for any sort of vintage style I'm looking for without damaging my hair. Also, some products you guys are going to want to pick up if you're wanting to master any sort of vintage look. You want to pick up some duck, duck bill clips here, some smaller clips like this, and a trusty rat tail comb. I'm Kat Panic, and I am an enthusiast of all things from the 40s through the 60s. Um, so vintage hair has always been a passion of mine and the fact that I'm able to achieve it now and I have been for many years without heat has been a godsend. I love it. I definitely recommend all these products to you guys, all my vintage enthusiasts. Go and check it out. These are amazing things and I found them all locally at my vintage store, Truck and Sailor. However, you can find them online as well. I will post links down below and you guys can check them out. Awesome. Thanks guys. Have a great night.